Tommy, finally back at the EBB Stadium on tomorrow night. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Oh, we're looking forward to being back at home. It seems like an age, in fact, a year, and it is. That was last year when, <laughs> when we last played there. Um, so it's getting on for a literal calendar month, and everybody likes creature comforts of home. Um, and obviously, we're, we're not we're not daft. We know we've we've been better at home than we have been away from home in general. And of course, because the result didn't go the way we wanted on Saturday, we want to try and bounce back as quickly as possible. That was one of the targets, wasn't it? We've spoken about that a lot this season, but improving the home form at the club was something we really needed to do. As you said there, that is something we've done. So we can take that into tomorrow night's game, can't we? Yeah, million percent. I mean, look at these, the group of lads that have got us to where we are right now in the division and where we, what we achieved in the cup run are the same blokes. You know, they don't become bad players overnight. They don't try any less overnight. There are always bumps in the road. You know, you lose a couple of games in a row, which is something we haven't done that often this season. It's always, you know, you want to bounce straight back and obviously Bromley are the next team come to the EBB and we want to, we want to put on a show for our own, really. And a bit of breaking news within the club, obviously Josh Stokes is, well, it's not a departure, is it? Because he's staying with us for the rest of the season, so it doesn't really change much at all, does it, in terms of tomorrow night's game? <clears throat> well, he's available, put it that way, he can be picked. Um, but listen, I want to be the first to, to say well done to Josh and congratulations on the, on the move. But also, I think everybody connected with this football club deserves a pat on the back. That's from the people at the top who backed me when I asked to bring him in in the summer, to him and his family who trusted us to take part in the next part of his journey. Um, And Bristol City for acting very, very professionally in the way they did. But Josh, uh, it was mentioned before training on on, uh, this morning, um, and I said, look, he should be an absolute example to a lot of lads. And there are a lot of lads in this dressing room who've had a sort of punch in the nose from a, a higher level, and they've been knocked down to this level, and they probably feel a little bit you know, unjust and that, that they're here, but he's, you know, living proof, literally, uh, if you do the right things amongst the right group that fit you, which this does for him, then th- great things can happen. And it's a great deal for the club. I'm delighted for Josh. He's such a great lad. And I don't see it affecting him at all. And I'm, I might have to eat my words there, but I, I'm sure I'd like to think he'll prove me, prove me right. Uh, and I'm sure there's not a, a lad in the dressing room who isn't pleased for him as well. You look as well, obviously, Ollie Bray scoring at the Hawthorns not long after playing at, at, at Step 4. You've got Jasper as well playing at Step 3 and Step 4 recently mm-hmm. and then making his debut and saving a penalty on on Saturday. So yeah. we, we do give opportunities to younger players, don't we? Yeah, well, I like to think that's why people who want or who look after players who are felt that they are playing at a level that isn't quite where they should be will trust us. You know, like you said, we've got Josh, we've had Ollie, sorry, we've got Josh, we've got Ollie, we've got Jasper. Um, I mean, youngsters-wise, Hayden Mullins is a young lad come through our own system. So, you know, the, the opportunity you'll get there if you do the right things on the training ground. And, um, you know, we're at a stage of the season now where we'll probably get to a point where a lot of the players that we have in or out of the team at the minute haven't played 30, 40 games in a season very often. So we're going we're gonna to see faces change in the team. Um, and that's by design, not by reaction. You know, we, we had a plan going into the game on Saturday and it had to get changed because of the performance of one or two of the players on the pitch or the the physical state of one or two of the players on the pitch. Um, And that'll be the same on Tuesday. But I think you'll see something I don't usually do is change the team en masse. You know, it's not something I do. Um, And I certainly don't change the way we play very often because I, I just genuinely believe, like I said, you don't change overnight in terms of the way we deliver our message, the message about the opposition. Of course, we saw Bromley just before Christmas, so we know they're they're a top side. They're, you know, they're they're at the top of the division or near at the summit of the division for a, for a good reason. They've got a really good group of lads, and that, and Andy's got a really effective way of playing. So, you know, we're under no illusion. The two games this week at home will be difficult, but it's great to be back on home soil.